So today I want to share with you a extremely powerful natural remedy for inflammation, not just inflammation, but autoimmune diseases, gut inflammatory conditions, arthritis, skin conditions related to inflammation. This is something you probably have never heard before being connected to inflammation. And if you were lucky enough to consume this substance as an infant, you probably have already been experiencing the benefits of this. But for many, they've never had this substance. So uh, unfortunately, they probably are suffering from some form of inflammation. This substance has some really interesting benefits uh, for your gut, especially. We are actually all born with a very permeable intestines where there's actually holes uh, right into the immune system. So this substance actually seals those junctions to make them very, very tight. This substance actually can give you your immunity. Yes, it can give your immunity. There's two types of immunity. You have the one that your mother gave you, okay? And that's the one we're talking about. And then we also have the other that is acquired and developed over time by being exposed to pathogens. So this substance can give you passive immunity. In fact, in one study, which I'll list down below, it showed a 3X improvement over the flu vaccine and in preventing the flu. In one study, it shows that it can improve the gut damage from NSAIDs and damage from H. pylori and improve damage from infections that cause diarrhea, as well as damage from autoimmune conditions. It has been shown to improve muscle growth. So it's really good for people who have atrophy. And so all of this is very, very amazing, but it also has the ability to repair your thymus gland, okay? The thymus gland is an immune gland on top of the heart that is like a training camp for your T cells. And this substance is colostrum. Okay. What is colostrum? Well, colostrum is the first milk that your mother gives you when you're breastfed. So the, the many, many studies out there that shows the difference between breastfed infants versus those infants that have been fed the infant formulas, they just dramatic difference in long-term health, increased risk of autoimmune diseases, increased risk of allergies, increased risk of asthma, increased risk of respiratory infection, increased risk of obesity and gut inflammation and higher risk for cancers. And so as you can start to see, it's just really important that if you are a mother to breastfeed. Now, unfortunately, many of us have not been breastfed. Okay. So we did not get the benefit of that. However, you can get the benefit of taking colostrum, even if you're older. So I'm going to talk about that, but you should first understand what colostrum really is and what's in it. In fact, colostrum provides the only natural source of something called transform growth factor alpha and beta. Now, what is that? That is something that can greatly help regulate your immune system. And it's also good for tissue repair. Colostrum also provides the only natural source of insulin-like growth factor one and two. Now, what is that? Well, that is that substance that I just referred to. It has been found to reverse the age-related atrophy of your thymus gland, because as you get older, the thymus gland shrinks. Okay. So anything that you can do to improve the thymus gland would be a really good thing. And there's other things too, like zinc and vitamin D, but colostrum also can help you. Colostrum has been shown to increase all of the different T cells that you have and the natural killer cells that help you prevent cancer and attack viruses. Uh, they can increase the macrophages, which actually uh, provide a, a barrier for pathogens. Colostrum is like twice the fat as normal milk. It's four times the protein, but it's 250 times more immunoglobulins, which are the immune factors that give you your immune system. And this can greatly reduce your inflammation. And initially for an infant, one of the very interesting benefits of colostrum is in the development of your duodenal villi, those little tiny like roots on the inside of your intestine. So colostrum helps develop them. And so if you don't get the normal development of those villi, then you may have problems in the future with absorption of nutrients. And then you may develop something called malabsorption, but there's something even cooler about this colostrum because I started doing searches on the relationship between colostrum and the microbiome. This colostrum is extremely rich in the microbiome, the microbes, the friendly bacteria. So really what this first milk is doing, it's injecting uh, part of the mother's immune system as well as seeding the infant's gut with this microbiome, which by the way, is about roughly 70 to 80% of your immune system. So it's giving you so many wonderful things. And this is why when we consume pasteurized milk, basically the heating kills all these enzymes, these immune proteins, all the microbiome. And there's been some interesting studies on even calves that are fed pasteurized milk 
versus raw milk. And there is a huge difference in their overall health. And I will put that link down below. You should probably read it. And of course, another reason why we have so many allergies to milk, right? Because our immune system looks at this as something that is very foreign. 100% of all cows in the US are given colostrum. I don't know why we don't give colostrum to our own human infants if they're not breastfeeding, but I think that would be a very important thing to do. So make sure that child is breastfed. Okay. You may want to try to find colostrum that comes from a goat, like goat's colostrum that may work better than cow colostrum. Why? Because there is casein and other proteins that you may have an allergy to that could create a problem. But usually the uh, goat's milk, and especially the goat's colostrum, you're going to have much less of an allergy because goat's milk can resemble more of a human milk than a cow's milk relates to human's milk. However, if you can't find, let's say a supplement that has the uh, colostrum from a goat, then at least try to find a form of colostrum that is not overheated. Okay. And there's, there's several out there. I'm not going to give you brands. And of course, if you can't find those, try to find something that they have removed the casein to reduce the chance of allergies. Now, anytime you take anything related to the immune system, uh, especially colostrum, always start with a very small amount and test the waters because it could stir up some immune reaction initially. So you take small amounts, you take a half a tablet right before bed. You see how you react and then slowly have more and more until you're achieving the dose that's listed on the bottle. Don't jump into just taking a lot because who knows if you have an allergy to milk or dairy, but colostrum can be probably something that you've been missing for your inflammation. And unfortunately, with many of us that have not been breastfed, just don't have the benefit of that immune factor that we're given from our mother. So we have to work harder at uh, building up our microbiome and uh, supporting the immune system with other things. Now, since we are on the topic of inflammation, there's more to be said on that. Uh, in one of my videos uh, that has gotten over 5 million views, I share a lot of additional underlying causes to inflammation that you need to see. And I put that video up right here. Check it out.